Let's see if this works. I'm gonna do this without actually knowing what's in frame or not. This is gonna be kind of weird for me. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Y'all know how I like to make go kits. Today we're gonna talk about the G106 go kit. Let's go take a look at what's inside. This one's pretty cool. Let's figure out what we're putting in the box. We've got the USB cable, the DE19 cable, and the CI5 cable. I mean, obviously we're gonna need the microphone and the cable, right? And then I try a couple of different layouts and take some measurements and Make sure you don't forget about how tall it is. And then this is what I wound up with. Just so y'all don't think I'm pulling a fast one on you, this is the X6100 Go case. This is the G106 Go case. They are ever so slightly different. They're about the same width that way. They're about the same width that way. This one's actually a little bit wider. Probably can't even tell on camera, but the bottom one's a little bit wider. That's the G106, that's the 6100. And then they are thinner. The G106 case is thinner than the X6100 case. One of the things that they gave us on the inside of this case is a bunch of little dividers. We actually don't need these because this thing fits in here very well. So let's open it up. So this kind of falls out of the lid. There is room in the lid for the, the cable bag up there. This is all of the individual cables that come with it. Again, I've got the Velcro one wrap ties. There's a video on how to do FT8 using the DE19 on the channel. I will link it up there. I have a BioNO 12 volt, three amp hour battery. This is the battery that I use in a lot of my go kits because three amp hours on a QRP rig is enough time to get a park activated. No problems there. This is the K6 ARK N fed half wave on the K6 ARK winder. And here is the G106 itself. Radio gets a bad rap, but it it does the thing, it does it fairly well. It fits in the case nice, that takes care of it. And then we have the microphone over here. And all of this stuff fits nicely inside of this little case. And we are good to go. I love making cases, as you've seen on the channel. This is one of the, one of the, the joys and passions I have in this hobby is making little go cases. I like to keep all of the things that belong with a radio, with the radio. That way I know if something's missing. I don't have to go chasing it down all over my shack. Let's get this put back in here the way it belongs. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but this will fit inside of my backpack. And this has everything I need to go do a Nevis activation, near vertical incidence skywave propagation activation. I can keep the antenna like tied to the picnic table and then tied off to a tree off in the distance. Or I can bring a collapsible mast and I can get some height out of this, or I can bring my throw bag my throw weight bag and get that done. There will be links for all of this stuff in the description down below. Just wanted to share this with you as we go down the saga of ownership of a G106. There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you over there.